Hey everybody, welcome to our species spotlight on the Bangai Cardinal, Terrapogon codroni. Uh, this fish is found uh, by the Bangai Islands in Indonesia. Uh, it is a nocturnal fish and uh, during the day it's typically found in seagrass beds or around and within seagrass beds around uh, sea anemones and mangrove, mangrove roots typically. Bangai cardinals uh, in their wild habitat, habitat are typically found in schools of hundreds uh, and they are often seen actively feeding on planktonic, floating planktonic organisms. Young Bangai cardinals are typically associated with or found within the uh, spines of long-spined urchins such as Diatoma, Diadema setosum, uh, which uh, offers good protection for the young fish. The Bangai Cardinal is currently listed on the IUCN Red List. It is also uh, found on the US ECA list, the Endangered Species Act. Uh, the main uh, sources of threat and problems for the Bangai Cardinal uh, is a loss of habitat, pollution, and unfortunately, collection by the aquarium trade. Now a little bit about uh, its behavior, um, community suitability, coloration, size, and so forth. Now, the Bangai Cardinal uh, has a very elegant shape about it. It's a typical cardinal shape. Uh, it's got a silvery whitish kind of a background with black markings and a lot of very interesting little white dots everywhere. Very pleasing shape, very elegant looking. The Bangai typically doesn't attain a length greater than three inches with the male being the larger of the two sexes. It's very peaceful when kept in a group. Uh, the minimum group size really should be at least six individuals. Uh, you will at times see a little bit of interaction and fin flaring and so forth between the different specimens, but typically a peaceful fish. Now, being it, as it is such a peaceful species, it is definitely not recommended to be mixed with other boisterous type species in a reef type setup. It's typically quite shy when first introduced into a uh, reef aquarium and so for that reason we really prefer that it's placed in there at the beginning of when you first stock a tank. When conditions are right in your aquarium, as they should be of course, uh, it responds quite readily and being a mouth brooder, it is a mouth brooder rather, and the male assumes uh, that duty. A pair can easily be kept in a 30 gallon tank. Again, we recommend a reef type setup. If you wish to maintain a group, as we mentioned, at least six fish in the group, and uh, you should be setting it up as a reef and preferably a mature one, uh, one that's had time to mature before placing them in there. The Bangai Cardinal adds a very elegant look to your tank and they typically make for a very good tank made to fish such as gobies, clowns, uh, small hawkfish, and of course, other cardinals like the pajama cardinal. It is an invertebrate safe fish, and for that reason, it makes it a great addition to a reef tank. Water conditions for the Bangai cardinal uh, should encompass temperatures that range from 75 to 80 degrees, or 24 to 27 degrees Celsius, a pH range of about 8.1 to 8.5, and the salinity, or sorry, a specific gravity range of 1.021 to 1.025. When it comes to feeding your Bangai Cardinal, when first introduced, they can be a little bit shy and fussy, uh, but they usually quickly adapt to the aquarium environment, and you're best off really offering them fresh uh, foods, freshly chopped foods, such as um, uh, you could try a bit of mussel, shrimp, krill, Mysis, those types of foods uh, really will be best off. Once they become acclimated, small quality granules, marine granules and quality flakes are, are typically accepted as well. In summary, the Bangai Cardinal makes for an excellent feature fish for the smaller to mid-sized type reef aquarium. Uh, it adds a very nice elegant look to your tank. Um, it's an invertebrate friendly fish, so it's a safe choice. And it's also one that you could look forward to breeding. You, you, uh, they are mouth rooters, they breed quite readily, which makes it a bonus in terms of protecting the aquarium hobby as well, um, as that is obviously a responsible way to purchase these fish. So thanks a lot for watching. Look forward to your commentary below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a like. Till the next time.